Hi, Robert Troy this afternoon said he's an open book and happy to clarify his property interests. Like say, well, do you think it's tenable for you to continue in your position, given the amount of money you feel it was a conflict of interest? I, I, I'm after speaking. I've given an interview and I. Got... But questions from Virgin Media News were not so welcome. As a minister for company regulation, do you think it makes sense at all for you to be allowed to continue in that role, given the amount of things which you said you've gotten badly wrong here? Anything you want to say at all, Minister? I've, given, I've, I've spoken, I've given a full account of what's happened and I'm willing to speak in the doll in September again. Do you think you'll have the opportunity? Do you think you should resign, Minister? The Minister of State admitting on RTE Radio that he has 11 properties, nine of which are rented out. Troy says he's embarrassed and got it badly wrong. That's not good enough, however, for many in opposition, who say it's impossible for a minister to have made such errors in the middle of a housing crisis and survive with his career intact. Disquiet has also surfaced within his own party, but ministers have publicly been supportive. Well, I think what Robert said today is that, and he was open and honest, he held his hands up, he said he made a mistake, and he said that he didn't... He, yeah, and he, said, and he said, I'm not disputing that at all. I think nor is he disputed that, to be fair to him, also. And he said that, that he did not... Uh, pay the requisite due diligence that the form required uh, and he's been he's been open and honest about that he's rectified all those errors there as well Robert Troy hoping to hang on he says he'll handle questions in the doll on the matter when it returns next month Richard Chambers Virgin Media News